Hey guys, welcome to the Flopbuster Movie Show channel. This is Tony reviewing Yellow Jackets. No Gabe here today, just me, all by myself. But we are talking about Yellow Jackets. Yes, the Showtime original series that stars Melanie Linsky, Juliette Lewis, uh, Christina Ricci. There's a ton of people in this, a ton of great actresses. Uh, and this is a show that everybody and their mother has been recommending to me, telling me that I would love. Uh, unfortunately, Gabe is still watching it, so he probably will be finished with it, I believe, in maybe a few days, maybe today, who knows. But before we get down to the review, I just want to thank everybody, all of our supporters here from here at the channel, uh, helping us get to 200. We, we finally did it. We got to 200 subscribers. We just had our episode up with Destiny Falconer talking about horror reboots, which was fantastic. She was a lovely guest. We had Victoria on there. And we can't wait to show you guys more. I know we have our Moonfall review coming soon. But anyway, let's get down with this review of Yellow Jackets. All right, so Yellow Jackets is a new series created by Ashley Lyle and Bart Nickerson. Uh, this is a show that has been on my radar for quite some time. I just haven't had the time to really dive into it. But I do know it has a huge following all over the internet. Yellow Jackets is about a high school soccer team in 1996 that crash lands in the Canadian wilderness. And they're stranded out there and it's really about their survival. And this intercuts between 25 years later when you have the adult versions of these teenage girls and how the trauma and the grief can really affect them years down the line when somebody begins to blackmail the group and their secrets. So right away, the show really grips you and takes you right in. If you're a fan of shows and movies set in the 90s, you're really going to like this. They plan that nostalgia in a really touching way and not like nostalgia porn. Like they really, really do it in a really nice and touching way. The first episode's directed by Karen Kusuma, who's done uh, Jennifer's Body and The Invitation. She's a wonderful director, and she does some terrific work here to really pull you in. And the best thing about this show is it's really set up like uh, something along the lines of Stephen King's It, where you have the kids, and they're all awesome in this, uh, and then you have the adults with really well-known uh, actors there. Melanie Linsky is pretty much the main character, and her, uh, her character, Shauna, uh, and you see everything that she's gone through right away. Like, you feel uh, the grief. You feel, error, like uh, I guess, the remorse and the, the things that she could have done. And you slowly start to unpeel everything that this show has to offer. Uh, and it's wonderful character work right away. You, you got Juliette Lewis. Uh, Christina Ricci's doing like this whole like Annie Wilkes thing, like in Misery. She's wonderful. When was the last time we saw her in something really big and cool? Here she does, and she, she comes to play. It's a lot of character actors in this. And, uh, you know, when it, when it comes to uh, TV shows like... Uh, like the like Yellow Jackets or even movies for that matter that take something like Lord of the Flies and uh, try to do their own spin. Yellow Jackets is really the, the first one to take the material and kind of do its own thing. Uh, it certainly helps that they have a cast that is there to play and, and, and brings their A game. But the credit to the creators, the writers, uh, it's wonderful and like gripping from beginning to end. The direction, the camera work, everything feels like one epic movie. But the difference is you can expand on the characters in a 10-episode TV series in ways that you can't in a movie. I can't see this being a two-hour film. Everything in Yellow Jackets needs to be the, the time frame that it does. And I know it sets up things for season two in a really interesting way. And I'm not going to dive into spoilers because if you haven't seen the show, I would urge you to go watch it immediately. It, I, like Seriously, I'm so happy that I caught this when I did. I wish that I watched it earlier because I know... Uh, so again, so many people were telling me to check it out. So, but uh, a couple of highlights, yeah, Juliette Lewis, Christina Ricci, uh, and all of the young cast. The soundtrack. There's some really cool '90s uh, touchstones they they throw in there. Uh, yeah, no, this is uh, really good stuff. It's top tier uh, television filmmaking, and especially when you have shows like Netflix and all the the binging shows that are going on now. I could see how this really worked playing out week to week on Showtime. Um, and I'm in for season two, man. I, I can't wait for season two. This is really, really, really good. Um, so, yeah, no, this this is definitely horror, too. I know some people were debating, is it, what is it? And, I, and to me, it's straight up horror. It's psychological horror. They, they touch on stuff like cannibalism. Uh, 
the everything in 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 the woods, the the survival aspects of it is really really awesome and really terrifying and right now I have no idea where the show is going to go, which is really cool for something that's still in season 1. Uh it answers a lot of things and also leaves a lot of things to be interpreted and leaves a lot of story threads still loose. Um, so we'll definitely see where it goes in season two, but I'm on board. I can't wait to see the rest of this thing. So that is Yellow Jackets. I just wanted to do a small review for you guys, to let you know how that is. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, it's streaming right now on the Showtime app. You can get a 30-day free trial. Binge it all. I mean, keep Showtime if you want. I think there's some other cool stuff on there too. This isn't a Showtime ad. I'm not going to uh, promote them in any sort of way, but uh, definitely for Yellow Jackets, I will. Uh couple of other things coming to the channel we have our uh next episode of flop buster and that's going to be all about comedies and then we have our moonfall and jackass forever review so we want to thank you guys once once again helping us get to 200 uh we really appreciate that and we can't wait to show you more on the channel as always though maybe remember to like subscribe comment share we're on facebook uh, maybe we'll get twitter or pornhub i don't know we'll, we'll stream somewhere we'll find out uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, the road to 300 starts now.